I said, we're not going to begin uh, with, with music today, just begin quietly with a, a sort of penitential introduction uh, as we come to God uh, in humility and uh, we come in prayer and we come uh, with some seriousness too, uh, that God will make us right and uh, that he will forgive uh, and that uh, on this very special day, uh, there's a, a sense of new beginning, a new freshness as we commit to walk with him again. Felly, uh, geiriau gyfarwydd uh, i ddechrau. Dyma ni wedi dod ynghyd yn enw'r tad a'r mab ar y sbriglan. Amen. A gyda'n gilydd uh, i'n ingweddio. Dad nefo. Dad nefo. Mae mai pob calon yn agored i ti. Ni allwn guddio un dim oddi wrthyt. Flan han i a flan dy ysbryd flan, er mwyn ni nid y garu a thafolyn ffydlwm, trwy esu grys ein hardlwyd. Amen. And Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And some verses from Psalm uh, 51, a psalm of penitence and of, uh, of, of coming back and looking to God for uh, forgiveness. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. For you desire no sacrifice, else I would give it. You take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so words of, of assurance that as we've prayed, so God has heard and answered our prayer. Fi wain tad, ar hwn sydd wedi cymod i'r byd ag e fe hun tro iesu grestain harglwydd. Ac sy'n maddau pechodau, Pawb sy'n wir edi feiriol. A fyddai o eich chwi, a chryd hai o chwll bechodau. A chaniatau eich chwi, ras a nerth ar y sbriglan. Amen. Sometimes in our journey we can feel uh, a little bit lost. We can feel that we've maybe lost our way or that we've just been diverted from the path. But here is a, a song that reminds us that he will hold us fast. Whatever we go through, whatever we have to endure, he will hold on to us and see us through. <laughs>
Those he saves are his delight. Christ will home be found, precious in his holy sight. He will home be found. He'll not let my soul be lost. His promises shall Justice has been satisfied. He will hold me fast. Raised with him to endless life. He will hold me fast. Till the faith is torn to sight. When he comes at last. So we come to our Bible reading, and I'll send you Bible, ac uh, am heddiw, o Matthew, uh, it's from Matthew chapter 6, and it's from Matthew chapter 6, as you can see, and it's our uh, traditional um, reading for today, and uh, talks about it when we, when we give, when we pray, and when we fast, uh, some of our Lenten themes. Cymer o chofal, i beidio a chyflawni ych dyled swyddau crefyddol oflaen eraill. Er mwyn cael eich gweld ganddynt. Os gwnewch, nid oes gwobr i chi gan eich tad, yr hwn sydd yn y nefoedd. Felly, pan fydd yn rhoi elusen, paid â chani i'r gorn o'r flaen, fel y mae'r rhagrithwyr yn gwneud yn y synagogau ac yn yr heoli, er mwyn cael eich hanmol gan eraill. Yn wir, rwy'n dweud wrth eich, y mae eu gwobr ganddynt eisoes. Ond pan fydd y dyn rhoi elusen, Paid a gadael i ddlaw chwith wybod beth y mae dy law dde yn ei wneud. Felly bydd dy elusen di yn y dyrgel, a bydd dy dad sydd yn gweld yn y dyrgel yn dy wobrwyo. A phan fyddwch chi'n gweddio, peidiwch â bod fel y rhagrithwyr, oherwydd y mae'n rhwy yn hoffi gweddio ar ei sefyll yn y synagogau ac ar, ar gonglau'r heoli, er mwyn cael ei gweld gan eraill. Yn wir, rwy'n dweud wrth eich, y mae eu gwobr gan ddynt eisoes. Ond pan fyddai di yn gweddio, dos i mewn i thystafell, ac wedi cael dy ddrws gweddia ar dy dad sydd yn y dyrgel. A bydd dy dad sydd yn gweld yn y dyrgel yn dy wobrwyo. A phan fyddwch yn ymprydio, peidiwch â bod yn wyneb trist fel y rhagrithwyr, a mae'n chwy yn anffurfio eu hwynebau, er mwyn i eraill gael gweld eu bod yn ymprydio. Yn wir, rwy'n dweud wrth eich, a mae eu gwobr ganddynt eisoes. Ond pan fyddai di yn ymprydio, yn ein i ben a golch dy wyneb, 
fel nad pobl a gaif weld y fod yn ymprydio. Ond yn hytrach, dy dad sydd yn y dyrgel, a bydd dy dad sydd yn gweld yn y dyrgel yn dy wobrwyo. Peidwch â chasglu i chwi drysorau ar y ddau ar, lle mae gwyfyn a rhwd yn diffa, a lle mae lladron yn torri trwodd ac yn lladrata. Casglwch i chwi drysorau yn y nef, lle nad yw gwyfyn a rhwd yn diffa, a lle nad yw lladron yn torri trwodd nac yn lladrata. Oherwydd, lle mae dy drysor yno hefyd y bydd dy galon. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to Please. God. Just a little pause uh, for a, a very brief reflection. I'll just leave that. Uh, uh, oh no, I've got a. I've got one to to come. Whoops. Whoops. That's me going too far too fast. Uh, let me uh, just check check where I am. Um, there we are. Uh, just it, it really uh, for us to consider for today, just in literally two or three minutes, uh, three words that begin with the letter G uh, that can just help us on this first day of Lent to look ahead and see how we're going to use this season to the best. And, and it's the first one is the word grace. Uh, and Gamrag Grass, my 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 Gauni or Gair and Sisneg. Grace, we, we talk about amazing grace. We talk about wonderful grace. And yet sometimes we forget just how amazing and how wonderful uh, grace is. What grace says is this, that no matter how bad or wrong or sinful a failure you are, God still loves you with an infinite and eternal love. You cannot be loved more than you are by God. Now, that doesn't mean you don't have to worry about all the mistakes and wrongs. They're serious and, and, and they need dealing with. But you can't deal with them and you can't make yourself right with God. But God has dealt with them in Jesus at the cross, a perfect life given there for our imperfect life, a wholeness in Jesus given for our brokenness. And I, I love this little phrase, you'll have heard it, I'm sure, uh, that says, nothing you can do will ever make God love you more. And nothing you can do will ever make God love you less. He simply loves you with every, every part of his being. In Christ, we are totally forgiven. We are made whole and holy. And so Lent is a time to ponder the amazing grace of God. Just And in the light of grace, to look again at, at how we can live lives that reflect that. How we can commit again to, yes, dealing with the habits and the attitudes and the behaviour that isn't right and, and in response doing those things which are good and are right and are wholesome. So the first G is grass. The second one is the word gratitude. Diolch uh, garoch. There's that famous hymn that I'm sure we're all familiar with. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. And it doesn't matter how often you sit down and, and do that and count your blessings. We are always surprised at what God has done, what, how God has blessed us in our lives. And so as we ponder the amazing grace of God, it, let, let's, let's be so grateful, so thankful. Uh, to, if, you, if you remember the story of the unforgiving, unforgiving servant in, in, in the Bible, he had all his mountain of debt cleared by an act of grace on the part of his master but he failed to be grateful and landed himself in serious serious trouble we just need to 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 reflect during this season of lent and see what god has done see what god has given us and to be so so grateful so we've got grace, we've got gratitude. The third one is generosity. Again, from the Bible, give and it will be given to you. And then these words that follow, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over will be poured into your lap. In other words, God can't pour any more in. He just pours and pours and pours his goodness in. So why don't, why don't we make Lent a time, not just for giving things up, there's, there's, a, there's a, a rightness and a goodness to that if we're giving up things that are, that are not right. 
but not just giving up things to focus on ourselves. What about giving away? What about giving for God? Giving, giving things uh, for the sake of others, not with trumpet blast or standing on street corners, as it said in our reading, but quietly, humbly looking for ways to bless others with simple, small acts of kindness and generosity. So we've, we've got grace, we've got gratitude, we've got generosity, three things, that, three words that begin with the letter G for us to consider and for us to put into practice uh, over this season of Lent. We, we come to God with nothing to offer. We have nothing to give. We have nothing to present to God to make ourselves acceptable or holy or good. But God gives to us all that he has in Jesus, his greatest gifts, his greatest gift. He gives forgiveness. He gives life. And with it comes joy and peace that the world could never give to us. Don't, don't ever think that Lent is a time to be miserable and, and down. It's a time to be serious. It's a time to be honest. It's a time to take a realistic look at ourselves. But it's a time to receive afresh the wonderful grace that God pours out upon us. That I, I love the hymn, uh, uh, Here is Love Vast as the Oceans, and it has these words. Gras achariad megis dilio, an amdoast amang heed, achaviaunder pira heduch, and kisani eogvid. Grace and love like mighty rivers pour incessant from above, and heaven's peace and perfect justice kiss a guilty world in love. We come to God with nothing, but we receive everything. We can do nothing uh, other than give thanks and express gratitude. So this Lent, let's respond to the lavish generosity of God with la lavish generosity ourselves, sharing, giving, befriending. Let's, let's do gestures of kindness and compassion that show that we've received from the hands of God all that we could never deserve, but have received in abundant measure. And let's walk this Lent close to Jesus, the one who shows the greatest of grace and the greatest of generosity. And we can respond with that real gratitude. So a hymn uh, for us to listen to before we uh, finish with just a couple of moments of prayer.
So at the beginning of Lent, we take up the, uh, we take up our cross and walk that journey that leads all the way uh, to Good Friday and then on, of course, to uh, Easter Sunday. For our prayers, we're going to begin with the Lord's Prayer. Dechrau gyda gweddi'r arglwydd. Mae'n gofyn i Angelos fydd i'n arwain trwy weddi'r arglwydd. We're going to pray the Lord's Prayer, uh, whichever you prefer, as Angela uh, leads this through for us. Ein tad, mae'r hwnnw i tynnu nebwydd, sain teiddi'r dy enw, delaid dy deyrnas, gwneller dy ei wyllus, megis yn y nef, felly ar y ddeiar hefyd. Dyro i ni heddiw ein bara benyddiol, a maddau i ni ein dyletion, fel y maddau yw ninnau i'n dyletwyr, ac nac arwain ni brofedigaeth, eith yr gwared ni'r hag drwg, can eis ei ddod ti o'r deyrnas, a'r gallu. A'r gogoniant, yn oes oesoi. Amen. And then uh, our collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And then just three images that came from our Gospel reading, just for a few moments of reflection. Uh, when we pray, when we give, when we fast, not to do it for show, not to do it even for ourselves, but to do it for God and uh, to look to the God who hears uh, and responds when we do those things. But he just eiliad i fod yn dawel, ac yn gyntaf, just i feddwl am ein fywyd o weddi, just to begin and think of our prayer life. What simple steps could we do during Lent to make our prayer life better? Maybe to commit again to a time each day, early morning or midday or in the evening, a time when we can sit quietly and speak with God our Father. Let's determine in our hearts to, to put that in place now. Maybe that over the weeks and the months our praying has slipped altogether and we need to restart. God isn't going to be angry if we do that. He isn't going to have to ask us to make up for lost time. He will just be thrilled and delighted that we come again to pray. And Jesus says, when you give, not if you give, but when you give. So easy for us to uh, just hoard away and to keep and to hold a tight grip on everything that we have. 
And if that's the way Jesus had been, we would never, never have received life and forgiveness and peace and joy. He opens wide his arms on the cross. He opens wide his hands and gives everything for us. How can we respond as we look at the cross and Jesus giving himself and be generous and to give? Giving to God's work is, is such a, a key biblical principle. Giving to those in need is so necessary and a response of our Christian faith. Let's pray that God will show us how, the we, how we can give and to do so with glad and generous hearts. And when you fast, Maybe that's something we don't do as much as the other two, but fasting is there throughout scripture. Specifically going without meals, either just missing one meal or a day or, or whatever it might be. But going without to focus our prayer, to focus our worship on God. Putting aside the things that we crave in this world and in our human, human form, just to allow God's grace to work. What do we need to put to one side? What do we need to stop doing? What do we need to put on pause or put on hold during Lent so that our focus and our attention can be fully on Jesus? Gwedi, Roy, and Pridio. Bethadini Mindine, Drossa Garawis. He, he, you need a petai ana. Praying, giving, and fasting. Heavenly Father, show us what we can do. Teach us to put these things into practice in a way which will bring glory to you and that will deepen and strengthen our faith and our trust and our love for you. All of this we ask for Jesus' sake and in his name. Amen. And then a hymn, a prayer that the mind and the love and the peace of Jesus will be deep within us as we work on these things over these next weeks. May the mind of Christ my Saviour live in me from day to day.
moment. So we bring our service to a close. And uh, again, we pray for one another. We pray that this Lent will be a very special time for each of us across this whole island uh, and for our churches as we deepen and strengthen our faith and walk ever more closely uh, with the Lord himself. So together we're going to pray the grace again, whichever is your language of choice. And I'll ask Angela if she could lead this through to bring our service to a close. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. There we are. Thank you all very much. Thank you to uh, Angela for helping lead us through. Um, been really good that we can just mark this day uh, in the very middle of the day together from across the island. I know that you're um, but good that we can be together. And I do really pray that this Lent, uh, although it's going to be different from uh, Lent, we, well, I suppose last year we were in lockdown during Lent too, uh, but that it will be a time when we can reflect and think and, uh, and just, again, make our walk with Jesus much closer. Felly, tymor pwysig, tymor arbennig a rwy ymgweddio a fydd yn wneud gwahaniaeth i, I ni fel i unigolion ac i ni fel eglwysi hefyd. So, uh, be blessed as you go and keep safe and uh, as we step out on this journey of Lent, let's do it um, seriously and do it together, trusting that as we arrive eventually at the cross and at Easter Sunday, uh, that we will be changed people uh, as a result of these next few weeks. So go well and uh, been good to have you with us. Uh, we're not